my people. Hope everybody's enjoying this fine, fine Monday morning. Um, yeah, it's actually morning. I didn't work today. I <clears throat> hurt my shoulder, and my boss told me not to come in, so it is what it is, uh, unfortunately. Um, make sure you guys hit the like button for me. Uh, it's right down there, and if you do, you will automatically be entered to win a pack of salt or a pack of pepper. Uh, only one of those. I don't, I don't know why y'all think I'm rich. But if you win, you get to choose. Uh, make sure you guys check out Apex Alchemy. Um, he's doing really good stuff over there. Uh, he just hit his 250 subscriber mark, um, which is amazing. He just started. Um, he's putting out some good content also. And I recommend the video that he uh, made about um, how American is your American-made knife. Um, so I recommend that. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, you can find the info to do so in the description. Um, and also, there'll be a link for Patreon. I do have a uh, $3 tier now in the Patreon. And I'll do giveaways over there and uh, give you sneak peeks of what uh, is com what videos are coming out before, way before I post them here. Um, and the giveaways over there are uh, will be much more substantial Um better knives and stuff like that, you know. Um, I'd like to thank my patrons, Jeremy, Thomas, Tom, David, and Ken. Very much appreciated, gentlemen. Also, you can support the channel by um, uh, getting something tangible in return. Um, I make strops. Uh, they are two for 40 shipped, and I will load them with compound for you um, of your choice. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, today's video could possibly be a little controversial, but um, I'm going to run it anyway. Um, as you can see from the thumbnail, I'm going to be talking about overrated, overpriced, overhyped, or underwhelming uh, knives. And I have three examples um, here. These are uh, just knives I have on hand. And uh, we're going to start out <clears throat> with... A knife I actually like quite a bit. It is the Spyderco Stretch 2 XL um, G10 with crew wear. Um, where do I start here, man? So mixed emotions about this one. Uh, it's kind of a love-hate relationship. Um, it doesn't fall under the, the context of overrated or overhyped. Uh, or even underwhelming, but it is most definitely overpriced. This knife is $280 for absolutely no reason at all. Yes, crew wear, awesome. G10, what? Probably 420 stainless liners, what? I don't get it. Yes, it's an excellent working knife, but two eighty <sighs> crazy. It, 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 it doesn't make any sense to me. Yes, it's an amazing blade. The geometry, the ergos, the steel, um, quality heat treat. So far as I could tell, so far, and I've been using the crap out of this knife, and it's an all-around excellent working knife. But that price, what the f? There's no justification at all, in my opinion. Um, also, it had the lanyard tube issue. Uh, I took it out, so it's no longer an issue. But when I got the knife, lanyard tube, when you shut the blade, it hit the lanyard tube. And it rested, basically, on the lanyard tube. Uh, and that's that's just not good. Um, and, of course, all spider coals have a crap clip, so I swapped the clip out. And uh, I want to thank my buddy at Apex Alchemy for sending me that. Um... But that's Spyderco. That's just their thing with their clips. Anyway, this is definitely a keeper. This is an amazing knife. Um, I recommend trying to find one on the secondary for substantially cheaper than $280. Hopefully you can do that. Um, but that it's just not worth $280. It's a $150 knife. And that's it. And it's a very good $150 knife. Anyway, next. The Terrain 
365 Invictus AT. This is the full size with the Terravantium blade. And aside, I don't know where to start with this one. Aside from the uh, overseas sourced materials and parts and a USA stamp on the blade, um, there's a few things that are underwhelming here. Um, first of all, let's, we're going to discuss this in case you didn't see my other video about this particular knife. Um, the blade is made in the United States of America. Everything else is not. Um, I, I'm guessing that they put them together over here, but the rest of the parts are sourced overseas. And in my opinion, and, and um, Terrain is transparent about that fact on their website. Uh, that is something that they do disclose. But in my opinion, that USA stamp cannot be on a knife that is not 100% American. And that's just obviously my opinion. A um, couple other things. Um, other than being over, well, it's overpriced as well. It's three hundred and eighty dollars, and to me, this is a very max three hundred dollar knife. Titanium ceramic bearings, ceramic detent, probably expensive material for the blade, but I think three hundred is the max on this knife. Um, and the steel capability is to be determined because I haven't I haven't done anything with it. There is other vid videos on YouTube if you're interested. Um, I do know it sharpens really weird, and it does not uh, create a burr when you're sharpening it, so there's that. Um, has bearings for absolutely no reason. Yes, the action is amazing, but this knife and its des design philosophy just screams washers. Um, it is 100% rust-proof and non-magnetic, and it is made to be a working, basically hard-use uh knife that can handle all the elements um so there in my opinion is no reason to have bearings on this knife at all um and it has this useless jimping it is there but it is 100 percent useless like you can you can't get any traction on that no matter how hard you push so why put it there i don't i don't understand it doesn't make the knife look any better in my opinion um it's just there, and it's not doing anything. Um, also, it had lock stick right out the box. And from what I hear, they all do. Which is cool, because they send... No big deal, I mean. Because they send uh, this special lubricant that's for uh, the lock face and the tang there, so it won't... And it does work. It works very well. And they give you quite a bit of it, so... That's, that's also cool. <laughs> Anyway, like I said, there's a lot of good here. It's just not good enough to justify the price um, or the, the just in general. It's, it's, I don't think it's for me. Um, so I may end up moving this along, trading it for something I want more or selling it. I'm not sure yet. All right, let's move these out of the way because I'm going to need room for all the hate I'm getting ready to get in the comments section. So... Third and final one is a knife that they have sold thousands of, tens of thousands of. It is the Zero Tolerance 0562. And all the variants, all the many versions that have been made. Um, this is one I'm going to catch the most hell for, I know. Um, and again, with as with the pre previous two, there's a lot of good with this knife. But as an evergreen classic, quote unquote, I, I don't. Th I just think it's overrated, um, like bug out overrated. Uh, it's a hinderer design. Excuse me, guys. Classic hinderer looks. Classic dumb hinderer flipper tab that I don't care for. Um, the stop pins look like they can be used as thumb studs. They absolutely cannot. Um, very. Firm detent uh, hinders that, at least in all the ones I've tried. Um, slicer grind absolutely does not mean it's a slicey knife. Uh, who'd have thought that? Because um, it's not. Uh, it does okay. It's quite thick behind the edge. But, you know, my philosophy with that is if your knife's sharp enough, you can overcome a lot of that. Um, 
unsatisfying flipping action and just overwhelm underwhelming in general um but there's good here just like with the other ones uh it's great pocket clip even for zt uh probably the best pocket clip zt's ever made um gold standard materials you got uh on most of these 20 cv titanium carbon fiber stuff like that um usa made very important um, so that means, and to me, the price, is, it's not overpriced. It's between 280 and 300 I believe, brand new. And that's justifiable, in my opinion. Um, and it's a good size for most people, and it's basically the ZT of old. Uh, the stuff that everybody enjoyed about zero tolerance. Um, before they started making crap that nobody really wants. Or I definitely don't want. Uh... Is it good? Yes. Is it great? No. And that's just my opinion. So, in conclusion here, there's lots more I could name uh, in this video. I just don't have them. Um, like the Bug Out, uh, the Para 3, the Mini Adamus. Um, the full-size Adamus is awesome. The Mini Adamus is just a... It's just reaching. Um, the Infidel, uh, which is the most overpriced and overrated out the front knife in existence um the buck 110 ec3 i think is overpriced um the demco 80 20.5 uh the aus 10 version uh just that particular version uh is definitely overpriced in my opinion and there's lots of others in the higher end especially up above four and five hundred dollars um you get into some overpriced stuff in my opinion um all right, guys, that's really all I got for you today. This is the second time I've tried to do this video. My, I didn't have any storage in my phone, so I got through seven minutes of it last time. And I don't look at the screen while I'm doing the video, so uh, I didn't even know. I just kept rambling for freaking 12, 13 minutes, and, and it cut off halfway through, and I didn't even know it. So hopefully this one goes better. Um, Anyway, let me know in the comments what you guys think about these, or if you think there's something out there that is way more overrated or overpriced. Um, I know James Brand makes a lot of overpriced stuff. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, make sure you guys subscribe. Hit the like button for the love of God. And uh, I'll see you guys later on. Have a good one.